Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to another video and in this video as you can guess it I'm going to be talking about volume eating All right, so since I am currently on a cut like the 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 idea is to get as much Volume in as you go throughout the day since you're in a caloric deficit to really be able to fill up your stomach as you progress throughout the day so you don't you're not hungry and you don't have to go to bed hungry and uh, really keeps you sane and happy. So essentially what it is, um, let me, I'm gonna do my best uh, drawing skills right here to draw three stomachs. Just as like a very brief re representation of what I'm talking about volume eating is uh, for instance, let's say 400 calories of oil would look like that in your stomach. I just spelled oil wrong. Let me spell that again. Oil, 400 cal. All right. Now, as you can see, like that doesn't take up much spot within your stomach. And so the idea is another, uh, I guess another representation I can give is, for instance, let's say that you have like potatoes or, or mock meats or something like that that's kind of more fat, uh, like have a higher fat content or very high caloric content like uh, potatoes. So let's just say potatoes plus mock meats, 400 cal. So you can t tell that we're kind of getting the direction that we want to be is being more satiated throughout the day. And uh, the idea of volume eating it's so crucial because if you actually base your meals around, let's say like uh, salad, uh, and that's spinach, that is cabbage, that is all these other really low calorie uh, foods and vet like fruits and vegetables that are going to produce and fill up your stomach throughout the day. So essentially salad, uh, like strawberries for instance, so hard to write like this, strawberries. Um, and yeah, so, like all these things, 400 calories of this will fill up your entire stomach, all right? Like that is what we're going after for today. And I want to take you through a whole day of eating, uh, essentially just showing you how you can utilize uh, volume eating to really make the most like bang for your buck with your macros that uh, your caloric, that you have in a caloric deficit, okay? So today I'm going to be working with 150 grams of protein, 270 grams, 75 grams of carbs, and 35 grams of fat, which is a total of 2,015 calories. And so I'm gonna go throughout the day and essentially show you all the meals that you can base it around this concept of volume eating so you're not hungry throughout the day and not, not as satiated as you want to be, so you don't get hangry, so you don't have cravings or anything like that. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. And what we need to do now is go to the grocery store, get the supplies, then we can dive into it right now. We made it to Weg Men's, and uh, like I said, you know, it's like we want to be focusing around like cabbage, spinach, uh, broccoli, strawberries, blueberries, like all these things that are going to really fill up our stomach uh, throughout the day. So let's get inside uh, and I'm going to bring in my phone to film just because uh, we've been kicked out of here quite a few times, <laughs> even though this is my favorite grocery store. Maybe at some point we can work it out with the manager. He just doesn't like us that much. So anyway, let's go do it. Um, and then get into the first uh, first meal of the day because I am hungry. Haven't eaten anything and it's already 9, 10. So let's do this. So one little hack when you're dieting, uh, caffeine really helps to suppress your hunger. Uh, so I, I like to uh, have coffee every now and again when I'm, while I'm dieting just because uh, it helps me get through, like for instance, grocery shopping like I am now or um, uh, in between meals and stuff like that. And it also gives you that little caffeine kick, which is always nice as well. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this is a cold brew, nitro, delicious, highly recommend. Uh, and it's going to get me through grocery shopping and my haircut, and then we'll dive into that first meal.
And I'm also going to be uh, really finding the most macro-friendly protein sources out there as well at Wegmans. And so sit back, relax, let's go get some food. All right, so for the first meal of the day, I'm going to have a gigantic salad since I just got my haircut, lifted this morning, went grocery shopping. It is currently almost noon, and this will be my first meal of the day. So what I have here is an orange sweet pepper, a full cucumber, uh, some romaine lettuce, uh, a lot of cilantro, which I'm not going to be using all of it. It's, it's, love the smell of cilantro. Um, but that's going to add a lot of nice flavor and make it taste really fresh. I have a full cabbage, which I'll probably be using half of it or so. Um, so that's going to be kind of the base of the salad. And so on top, I'm going to be making a uh, oil-free salad dressing just because we don't want to be using oil when we're cutting because one tablespoon of oil is 120 calories. And it's not like if you think about it, one tablespoon is like a spoonful. Uh, so that is not something that we want to be including when we're trying to get volume in and to be really satiated throughout the day. So what the salad dressing is going to comprise of uh, is going to be silken tofu, uh, fresh lemon, black pepper, uh, possibly basil, just because I like basil, salt, a little bit of ketchup and some stone ground mustard. So this is going to be like a, a vegan Thousand Island dressing. So let's create that first. Um, and then on top of that, my protein source within the salad is going to be uh, this uh, veggie chicken strips from Morningstar. Very uh, low calorie for the amount of protein within uh, this food. And so for 140 calories, you have 23 grams of protein, which is phenomenal. And that's just going to add uh, more volume to this meal, plus the protein and taste. So it's going to be awesome. So let's dive into the salad dressing. All right, so for the salad dressing, a serving is going to be six tablespoons silken tofu, uh, three tablespoons ground mustard, three tablespoons of ketchup, one uh, teaspoon of freshly, freshly squeezed lemon and uh, some salt and pepper to taste. Um, so what I'm going to, and I'll probably add a little bit of hot sauce in here to add a little uh, tang to it. Um, so I'm probably going to do two or three servings because I'm going to have a lot of volume within this meal. So yeah, let's get into it. So the really cool thing is when you weigh out the amount of grams that you want for said uh, food, uh, if you have a calorie tracking app, I like to use Chronometer. Uh, all you do is go down to scan barcode and any barcode on the food item will just pop up on the screen. Then you can uh, choose from the menu to go to grams and then you can put the amount of grams into that. Just put that in there. Always make sure that you zero out the scale before you weigh a new food. We're going to do two tablespoons of this, which will be 34 grams. All right, next is going to be a squeeze of lemon. We'll just do half a lemon here. Make sure you get all the seeds out so that doesn't go into your salad dressing. And then just squeeze into there. It's actually going to be a lot more salad dressing than I thought it was going to be. Now all we're going to do, since we have that, make sure that you put the lemon in there. Lemon. So what we're going to do now is literally just mix all this stuff up. But that's kind of what it looks like at the moment. It'll look a lot, a lot nicer after it's uh, completely combined. Pepper. And lastly, a little bit of hot sauce, if you like some spice. I'm actually going to end up blending this in a moment, uh, but I want to prepare everything else for the salad first. I'll just let that sit up there. All 
right, so we have all our, our greens together. The chicken has just finished and it's crispy. It's still very hot, but also tender inside, which is awesome. I mean chicken. <laughs> uh, so what I want to do is to really show like the amount of food that you can have uh, while eating like just voluminous things. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is weigh out the what I'm going to eat from first, which is 93 grams. And then I'm going to uh, just zero it out and then add everything together and then subtract the 93 from the total amount of weight so we can see how much volume do you actually get within a meal like this. Finish it off, just a little bit more fresh lemon on top. All right, so it's the moment you guys have been waiting for. Like I told you, it, the bowl it's by itself was 93 grams. Let's see how many grams this whole gigantic salad is. So 1.319 kilograms, which is 1,319 grams, 1,319. And so, so we're at 1,226 grams, 1,226 grams divided by 454, which there is 454 grams in a pound. And we're coming at 2.7 pounds of food in this salad okay talk about volume 2.7 pounds of food and uh, the macros for this are absolutely insane okay let me see here for a total of 671 calories you are looking at 63.8 grams of protein 68.7 grams of carb and 12.4 grams of fat. Like, can you get better than this? No, you cannot, okay? Like, if you're shredding and you say, I am still hungry after 2.7 pounds of food, you are insane. You are literally insane. I don't even know if I can finish this. <laughs> um, but this is going to be my first meal of the day. Only 671 calories, which is absolutely absurd. So, yeah, the, the volume eating is the way to go when you're dieting down. So. I'm going to get into this, get into a little bit of work, and I'm going to have to catch up to you in like freaking two hours because it's going to take me a while to eat. My jaw will probably get tired before I even finish this thing. I literally cannot finish this meal. And it was only 671 calories. <laughs> so I'm going, to save, I'm going to save this to later because it is delicious. I am just, my jaw hurts from chewing. I ate all the protein from here, so it's just salad. Uh, so I'll have this later, but that just shows you how powerful volume eating is, is that you can get to the point where you don't even want to eat anymore and you don't even want to even think about food. So yeah, I'll see you guys at the next meal. All right, so for the next meal, or I guess you could call this a snack, I'm going to have a ton, look at that volume, a ton of strawberries. They are one of the lower calorie berries out there and they taste amazing and also fill up your stomach. Um, so I have the strawberries and then I have a protein shake. Uh, I try to get a protein, uh, some type of protein source with every single meal, whether it's a snack or just a full blown meal. Um, and so this comes out to, let's see here. All right, so the macros for this snack slash meal is going to be 45 grams of protein, 
43.6 grams of carbs and 5.4 grams of fat, which is a total of 388.5 calories. So that brings us to the total for today. Right now at sitting at 108.9 grams of protein, 112.3 grams of carbs, and 17.8 grams of fat, which is a total of 1059.3 calories. So we still got, we still got a way to go and it's 2:17 p.m. right now. I am feeling full. I typically do not eat this much volume while I'm shredding because I like to um, have a less I don't I don't like the feeling of being extremely full and me doing a full day of this volume eating is definitely making me feel that type of way. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see how the next meal goes after this, um, and we'll just uh, take it step by step from here. <laughs> but, yeah, strawberries, blackberries, raspberries, they're all uh, blueberries. They're all lower calorie. Uh, uh, they're really low calorie compared to other fruits like bananas, mangoes, apples. Uh, so, I much, I would, if you want fruit, I'd say go the berry route. Um, and uh, add in those other fruits here and there, but not in copious amounts like this. So I'm going to get into this. I'm going to enjoy it uh, and get some more work done, and then I'll catch you at the next meal. All right, guys, this is going to be the last meal of the day. And what is crazy is, like I was telling you about the, the high volume, you know, it's my stomach has been full this entire day, and I told you that, I typically don't do this, and so it's actually difficult for me to hit my target macros today due to such high volume. And I think I'm going to end up a little short uh, this evening, which is absurd to even think about. Um, but for this meal, I'm going to have broccolini, quite a bit of it. Uh, we have, I believe, green onions, which I believe people call them scallions. And so I'm going to saute the rest of the chicken strips. Uh, chicken strips in a pan with the scallions and since I have a lot of macros left I'm going to use some of this uh, teriyaki sauce from Wegmans uh, a lot of their sauces are vegan friendly which is amazing um, so yeah I think I'm going to do the broccolini in the air fryer to like crisp them up a bit uh, with some salt and pepper and it's going to be absolutely delicious and that will be the final meal so let's Scallions, there are. That just needs to be cooked now. Now the broccolini, zero. 671 grams of broccolini. We're talking almost a pound and a half. <laughs> Okay, that's 228 cal right there. So that's not too bad. We have the broccolini in there. I want to put that in there for, let's do 380. what six minutes gives us like this smells amazing but I don't think we can eat all this food all right so while these are cooking hopefully you can hear me these two sounds are were rather obnoxious um, <laughs> so with all the broccolini and uh, the teriyaki chicken um, we are looking at a total of 79.6 grams of protein, 74.3 grams of carb, all the broccolini, and 11.5 grams of fat, the sauce and that. All right, so our calories that are going to really end out the day uh, is 1,723, uh, which will bring us to 188.2 grams of protein, 
185 grams of carbs and 29.2 grams of fat. Now, I will have uh, like almost an additional, pretty much an extra 300 calories, which honestly, I don't even know if I could eat more. Um, so let's visit this first and we'll go from there. <laughs> All right, guys, this is the last meal. I walked you through it. It's the broccolini, which is like a pound and a half of broccolini and the rest of the uh, chicken. All right, so this teriyaki chicken with um, cilantro, not cilantro, scallions. That's what it is, scallions and the broccolini with salt and pepper. I, just looking at this, I mentioned that I might eat something after this. There is no way that I'm going to be able to eat anything after this. So this is going to be the last meal of the day. Um, and I hope that you guys have gained some awesome insight on really voluminous foods. You know, it's like when you do base your meals around volume, it's so much easier to diet down. You're not going to have those cravings. You're not going to feel hungry throughout the day. As you can see, like I'm at 1700 ish calories right now and I am well that will be 1700 ish calories and I'm stuffed already so base your meals around that and if you want to gain any more knowledge with how to shred or even bulk you know go to the vegangym.com we have a ton of free resources that tell you exactly how to do this type of stuff and I just want you to be as successful as possible so just click the link in the bio below and uh, also give this video a thumbs up because I had some very awesome comedic moments throughout this video. So I'm going to eat this. Have a great day. And we'll catch you in the next video. Peace, love, and gains.